Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 81 of Direwolf20's server play series. You can see I have a nifty little cable coming through the back of this computer just to help illustrate how I've got this program running. Now if you recall from last episode, I'm building a program that will automatically configure and turn on and off certain security stations and things. So for example, we can have the uh, level 3 security door disabled and we can even have uh, this guy down here disabled my nifty little um, you know station right there. There. Pretty cool. Uh, so, how are we going to handle this? Well, that's a really good question, and I'm going to explain it pretty much uh, right now. So, let's take a look at how we wrote our code. Uh, basically, I've got all my modes set to offline right now, and uh, I have to reverse this because it's currently like I have the not gates everywhere, so I haven't done that part yet, but you know, we're getting there. Uh, let's edit the uh, power program. Edit power control okay uh so real quick and this is going to be complicated and i'm sure there's a better way to do this um but basically i set it up so that it takes whatever line it's on so like the first line is line one the second line is line two and i raise that uh two to the power of that line so two to the two is four two to the three is eight two to the four is 16, et cetera. And that's my um, bit operation that's gonna go across the wire here. And then I basically say like, you know, take whatever the current color setup is. So that's that wire symbol here, just reads whatever's currently being output out the back of this computer. Um, if the machine is online, uh, then set it to combine. And if it's offline, set it to subtract. Okay, so right now you can see if I reboot this computer, it's going to go ahead and do that. It's going to read the file. Currently everything's offline. If I set security zone 3 to online, it's going to read that as line number 2. So it's going to set the second line here, the purple one, to on. Let's check it out. Boom. Ta-da! It worked. Uh, now I should start. Be, I should be starting with white, but I didn't want to have zero be represented here. So basically, we're just going to ignore white. Now, if I want to turn security zone three off, I hit enter again, and we'll see that the light turned off. Cool. Uh, I can go down here to door zone two, and that turns on the yellow light. Um, the next one will turn on the green light, but it won't affect the yellow or any other lights. And this guy down here. So we can really have any combination of lights that I want, um, and it'll all be on or off depending on how this is set up. Now what I want to do is reverse this. Um, so let's edit um, the uh, door control program now. Let's do edit power control. And I'm just gonna go down here and reverse the redstone output. Um, so basically, I don't want the wires on if it's online. So right now it's offline. I want to reverse this. Let's subtract if it's, um, and this is a colors function. You can read more on the computer craft wiki about how this works, but we're basically um, turning on and off individual wires here uh, based on what the current wire output is and then adding on the or subtracting from the, um, the number that uh, is assigned to each individual light. So now I reverse this so that it subtracts when online and combines when offline. Cool. So let's uh, save this and reboot. And what should happen when I reboot is it should immediately swap all these colors. Let's see if that works the way I expect it to. Boom. Come on, lights, show up. Might need to hit down arrow once. Okay, cool. Understood. So yeah, it did reverse it all. I just needed to move the arrow down, up or, up or down once. So I got to figure out a way to get that to behave itself. Because right now, on boot up, it doesn't seem to be applying the, uh, the redstone signals. I have to do like a one-time move to get it to refresh. I'll fix that. It's a little bug, I'm sure. Um, and then it should be just as easy as switching this guy to offline, and it turns the light on. So when they're offline they're emitting a redstone signal. The reason for that is because I have not gates. And the reason for the not gates, once again, is because I didn't want, um, you know, somebody to be able to cut this cable and then automatically have all the security stuff disabled. That would be a pretty easy exploit. So if somebody does come in here and cut the cable, then it's simply a matter of all of a sudden, all the not gates activate all the security. And it's kind of like maximum lockdown security mode where everything is turned on because the cable has been cut. So how cool is that? I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So now it's a matter of doing a few things. Uh, first off, I have to run some more wires uh, and test the security modes. So basically figuring out, making this thing work the way I want it to actually work in game instead of just turning on and off lights. I just have to run a few wires around, not a big deal. And then from there, what I need to do is uh, basically test it. 
then I need to activate these monitors so that the monitors display basically the same output as this, security zone two, three, four, and door zone two, three, and four on or off on the monitor. One of these two monitors will display that. The other one will display the nuclear reactor, how many ticks are left in the reactor, uh, as well as how much uh, EU is left in the MFSU. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so I will be back in just a few when I'm ready to get through all this craziness. All right, so I'm just setting up zone three at the moment. And as you can see, the security door for zone three is disabled at the moment, as well as the security mode for zone three. So this guy is disabled, currently not active. You can tell because the light is green, meaning it's safe. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is run over to my computer and try this out. Hey, there's zombies down here. Bad zombies, go away. All right. Let's pop up and check out what we can do. Um, I should be able to control this from really either side, but I'm going to turn Zone 3 Security on by going up here and hitting Enter. Boom. Zone 3 Security is now on. So if we come down here, we should see our uh, NOT gate is now allowing Zone 3 to be on. How cool. Uh, if we pop up in this general area, we should see that the gate is still open though because I didn't turn on the security uh, for this guy. Now let's open up the portable hole here to make this a little bit easier. Ta-da! And I should be able to sneak right through here and set door 3 to online. Boom. And now what should happen is within two seconds that door should uh, pop up because the timer should be running now. And what I break. Did I mischoose the right color here? Maybe I didn't set the right color. I guess I didn't. Oh wait. This guy is online. So the redstone signal is being applied, right? And with the redstone signal, oh, I have to reverse this actually. Right? What if I set this to offline? Door 3 security offline. Alright, so I chose the wrong thing for that. That's what it is. What color was supposed to go there? Um, let's take a look real quick. What did I do wrong? Alright, so this was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, this should have been lime, it, not, okay, lime, not yellow, derpy dur dire, choosing the wrong color for the most annoying one to change, because it's a tight squeeze. This should have been lime wire, not yellow, for this position in the program. Hope you guys are following along. Ha, huh, there we go, okay, now, let's try this again. I'm going to pop out of here. And if I go through the wall, we should be able to quickly set this guy Zone 3 Security Online for the door. And the door should, within two seconds, boom, doors open, are now closed. Awesome. So with the security door online, we are now activating. So what was I saying earlier about, uh, you know, hey, what happens if uh, you break the cable? All right, let's say that our security system is currently disabled in some spots, right? Uh, just for example, uh, like so. Go over to this dude and say uh, zone three offline, okay? And that should activate and the door is off now, okay? So let's say somebody malicious, Richard G, not naming any names, came over and broke a cable somewhere, boom. Watch what happens to the door. Instantly, security mode is enabled and all of my security systems are online now. Everything is instantly online. So by breaking that cable, it ensures that everything is turned on. How cool is that? Loving it. All right, so let me run a few more cables here. Got to hook this guy up and a few more, and I'll be back. Oh, you know what I should even add to this system is a uh, overall security. So let's do that. Uh, easily enough, I should be able to just do... Um, what do I want to call this guy? I don't want to call it a shield dome because it's not really a dome. Hmm. How about base shield? That should be cool. All right, so uh, if we reboot now, we should have base shield as an option, which is currently offline. And uh, if that guy was green, right, 
Uh, this guy should be pink and then black. Is that what it is? Or gray insulated wire? Oh boy. I have to get some gray and I have to get some uh, pink insulated wiring here. I only have one. I'm going to go get that from the overworld. Uh, for now, let's just store my wire elsewhere. So I've already used uh, lime and magenta, so that's cool. And I'll be back in... All right, guys, got the cabling I need. Also hanging out at the moment, Player, Soren, Tog, um, and uh, Neptune Pink is on uh, TeamSpeak with us. What's up, Neptune? Hello. How you doing? I am doing all right. Just hanging out? Yep. Uh, getting started on working on stuff. Oh, uh, yeah? New goodies coming to factorization by chance? Only if I can actually manage to write them. It's not easy stuff, I think. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, man. Factorization is a cool mod. I really need to start building some more of the factorization stuff. I've only kind of dabbled in it a little bit so far. I really need to do more. All right, let's get this cabling going. Uh, over here, I should be able to put this dude, like so. Ta-da! And force field is now enabled. Awesome. Why is that? Why is the force dome enabled? Oh, because I don't have the knot gate. Ah, yeah. That would be why. I need the knot thingy. I should go make a bunch of knot gates, because I'm going to need a few. Do I have a knot gate recipe ready? I don't think I have one, actually. I probably should because of how often I use them, but oh well. All right, so it's this guy in the center and that stuff. This guy here. Three will be good enough for now. Okay, this guy here. There we go. Uh, except that's completely backwards from what I meant to do. This guy here with that guy there, and ta-da! Force Dome is now online. Overall shield protecting the entire base. Uh, just go ahead and switch it to offline mode, and boom, no more shield. Awesome. I am loving this build so far. Okay, I'll be back once I think I'm going to, uh, you know, run some cabling under the ground, clean things up a little bit, um, and just get everything working the way I want it to. So, back in a few. And guys, we are back. Pahamar has joined us. I'm about to add his security cards to my system so he doesn't die as I show him my new little toy that I'm building over here. Uh, so let's see, I'll give him uh, security level 3 clearance where he is allowed to have his items. He will not die and he can pass through the force fields. All right, Pahamar won't die in security level three, and the same for level two. Pass through force fields, allow to have their items, and stay in area. Cool. And four is only set to warn you, so if you're in zone four right now, it won't kill you, but it will warn you that you're not allowed to be here if it's enabled. So I've got bundled cable running all the way throughout the entire system, and it's all controlled by this little mechanism. How cool is that? So hit the up and down arrows to change your setting, and then hit enter to turn on and off uh, different security zones. I threw your card down. Oh, cool. Did I pick it up? I did. So let's give Tog security clearance for level three, I think it was, you didn't have? Yeah, you don't have three. So you get the same. Uh, allowed to have your items stay in area and force field bypass. Cool. So what do you think? Pretty cool. I think I've wired everything up properly. I don't know. Well, technically, I have only three turned on. Yep, that's the zone three uh, security door, which is over. This is the zone two security door, and the zone three one is here. And you can hit the button to go inside. And you have access to be in there, so it won't kill you. 
but you'll see that the um, redstone, the not gate down here is allowing the signal on, basically. Oh my goodness, barrels. Oh yes, barrels are awesome. I finally feel so cheaty. <laughs> What's that? I finally feel so cheaty. They're so awesome, what <laughs> they are. With you and Grum having a nice layout like this, I might rearrange my room. It's very Ooh. cramped at the moment. It is cool. What are you breaking up there? Nothing. <laughs> Why you steal my stuff? Because I thought you left clicking to get stuff out. Okay. Yes. But you yeah. don't do it as when you're in creative. So what do you yeah. think? Pretty cool uh, computer control system or what? I have to wire things up for. Uh, I need a. I need a level four security door. I don't have one of those yet. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. And the way it's set up is everything's set up with a not gate, so that if somebody breaks that bundled cable, it turns on all the security features. That's neat. Not bad, right? So you have like chests down here to capture anyone's stuff? Yep. So if you die while you're in this area, it'll pick up all your items. So come and... here, Bonimar, check this out. Wait, 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 hold on. Who's this handsome gentleman? He is a golem with a top hat. Why is he so fancy? Because he has the top hat. How did he get the top hat? It's a new item in Thomcraft. Check out this golem over here. He's got three saw articles of clothing on. He must be cool. He is very cool. He's got a bow tie and a fez. Is this the doctor? He could be. And he's got glasses. Each of the little he's pieces totally of clothing doctor. give them a little buff. The hats affect their health. Like, more health versus faster regen. The glasses, I think, are a little bit longer range, and the bow tie is faster speed. And what about fashion sense and attractability? Well, that's a given. Alright, so turn on force field door number two with my computer. And then check out the door over here. Ta-da! Can you tell how proud I am of this system? <laughs> and you have a button in the middle just in case you get stuck there. Yep. Hey, Sachevaro, I'm recording. Hi. And check out my overall base shield, which I hope doesn't kill you guys, because I'm pretty sure I set this to security zone 2, right? I hope this doesn't kill you. Yeah, pretty sure this is security zone 2, which you should both have access to. Go ahead and turn on the uh, base security, the force field. Oh, there's a wisp inside. Quick, turn it on. Did I catch him? Nah, he escaped. Oh, and he's shooting me through. Ah, oh, there he is. Is he inside now? No, he he was inside all the time, I think. Oh, he can travel through force fields. Those magical wisps. Got him. Well, wow. he's dead. He improved the death uh, particle effects. Yeah, they're fancy, aren't they? I. I think the wisp was always inside. It's just hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I thought this, uh, I guess this only kills players, this guy. Does it have different settings? Uh, they're, the defense stations do. So here's all my bundled cabling running all under my base. This one goes over to zone four defense station. Spiffy. Uh, this one over here goes over to, you know, some other stuff. Pretty cool. It's too bad your system's so vulnerable from below. Well, like I said, if you cut any cable, it instantly turns on all the security systems. And the defense stations are in a square, so it's nine blocks below as well as to the sides and above. So like, let's see, where's Pahamar? Pahamar, go under zone four. Where you fell down at. Sure. Yeah. 
This should give you a warning when you're in here. Do you know where you're at? Go underneath the computer room. I'm in a hole in the ground. You're under zone three. Yeah, now. Yep, now you're in the right direction. Yep. Yeah. So this is zone four. So if you're, uh, stay underneath here for a sec. I'm going to turn on zone four security. And that should give you a warning only. I hope so. Well, it's on now. So did you guys get a warning? Nope. Negative. Didn't, didn't get anything. This guy is not light blue. Did I pick the wrong color here? Light blue should be on right now. I see nothing. Hang on, I might have picked the wrong color here. I did. That should be pink insulated, not light blue. Turning it off. There you go. Did you guys get warnings that time? Uh, no, I'm off exploring. Couple. Yeah. All right, come back, ready to test Biomar. So while you're down there, the security station should affect you. It should be a cube all the way around the thing. Where Pahamar nameplate? Uh, you don't have a projector, though? Uh, where? Uh, on this zone? Uh, not for this door yet. That's the next thing I'm going to build. So jump downstairs here, Pahamar, and then I'm going to turn on security four. But, I mean, you don't have a... You don't have a force field around the whole 19 by 19 there we go. cube. Mm, uh, around the entire base? Uh, no, just this quadrant. Or is no. that what you don't have yet? No, I'm going to have a door here, because these are just doors. Basically, I just have doors and then a force field around the entire base. That's what this guy is. Uh, you don't have a, you don't have a force field around each um, section. Correct, no. You just have the, uh, the walls. The walls and then the defense stations. The defense station is what's giving you that warning right now. Yeah. If it was on kill mode, it would kill you and take all your items. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Because I am i haven't given anybody access to level 4 yet. I might give some of them. Is Sajabella here and talking? I didn't hear him speak yet. Do you want to test the kill feature? If you want. Because I want to see if it works on, uh, on people in creative mode. It does. <laughs> That oh, shouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, it does. All right, zone four is offline, and I'm setting this guy to kill, and it's going to steal all your items. So just come stand at the computer and set zone four online, and you should be cool. Well, with confirmation from player, I'll take the word for it. No, come <laughs> die. I want you to come die. I can help my, you die. My you YouTube subscribers want to see you die. Do you know them very Reckless well. endangerment? Where do I sign up? <laughs> yep, Sacha Barrel's got it. I can't find the portals. Alright, I'm sending this guy back to just warn mode. So right now just warn mode, but once I have um once I have the security doors here set up, because I'm I'm not activating any death modes until I've my game mode has been updated. I don't want to be creative. Yeah, I uh, don't know where I'm at, but I'm afraid of it. <laughs> Luckily, I have a gravitation suit. <laughs> You're also in creative mode. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have let you drop to your death. Where are you guys? Uh, would you like to know. see talk? Switch me back to survival, would you? Uh, possibly. I would. I'm in the dire hole. Very cool. Is that where you are? Just, oh, just yeah, as long as I don't again. die. <laughs> yeah. Try not to kill Tog. He dies enough I as hear, it is. I was about to say, I hear wisps do a good enough job. Yeah, they dire, pretty much do. They do. Are you on your dire home uh, age? Yep. Yeah, I need to get you to make a couple security cards for me too, Sach. Make, uh, I think, two security cards I need from you. I'll nice. show you how to make them. It's real easy. I don't think I've got any in here for you yet. Okay, yeah, you're not in yet. Yeah, that doesn't actually make you fly when you're in the air. I know, but it <laughs> makes you not die when you land. 
That's true. Wrong house. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a few minutes here. All right, guys, I am back, and real quick, putting together the uh, mechanism for this guy. Should be a pretty simple put together. Uh, here, here, and here are my buttons, which means that here, here, and here is where I want my uh, red alloy wiring to be, because we want any one of these buttons to activate this guy. Ready? So I uh, just need um, something right there like that. Cool. And then just some wiring here connects up to this dude, which can connect to here. And then a knot gate and this dude. Ta-da! Four stores are up. Now it's just getting this guy running like this. And a couple strips are exactly what I need to make sure that nothing connects the way it shouldn't. So real simple to put this together. And the button press works. Oh wait, I have to do one more thing. Important piece that I think I might have missed. I want to make sure that this is in the no-kill setting. Yeah, let's not do that again. Yeah, that's an important setting that we don't want to forget. There we go. Non-kill mode. <laughs> Much better. Whew, that was a close one. All right, uh, so we've got this thing set up, and the button should work, right? As soon as I hit the button, doors should open, and they'll stay open until the state cell goes tick. Perfect. Yeah, if I die in that thing, it's like, oh darn, I lost my items. You die, you lose your gravity suit. Well, I mean, I could always, like, you know, cheat sword back in, but... True. Hacks. Thunderdark. <laughs> yeah, hacks. Exactly. I wonder if Thunderdark intended that, or if it just did some drop items. I think it's intended, because it seems to me like if it's in, like, don't let anybody through mode, it kills you instantly. And if it's if it's in let anyone you want through mode, it just does a little bit of damage. Like, it seems <laughs> purposeful to me. All right, so one last sorry. step. Uh, I need to get down here, actually, where this was, and uh, run some cabling. Uh, where do I want to run this to? Mm. <sighs> I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Also, bad guys all over the place here. Gotta light this room up. Helps if I unmute myself. You weren't muted. No, I muted my speakers. That was oh. on the phone. Okay, well then, yeah, that will help. And guys, we are back, ready to hook up some wires here. And I think it is the pink insulated wiring that I need. There we go. That should run that guy up to there. And then our four store is closed. And a little bit of patchwork later. Can't even tell anything's going on here. That's what I like. Uh, and activating for security door number four. Door zone four is now online. And within two seconds, it should tick. Boom. Nice. That is what I like to see. Uh, so I'm going to activate, actually, security zone two so that nobody can enter there. And then I'm going to make sure that this guy is actually set to kill mode. So guys, be careful. I'm setting zone 4 to kill mode, and I'm going to leave the force door on so that it's nice and safe. Nobody can accidentally wander in here. Uh, better put up a sign, too. But security zone 4 online. Now killing anybody who enters. Soren, if you want access to zone 4, I'm going to need another security card from you. Okay, dude. Cool. I still got to make one, too. Yeah, you need two, Sach. Can you, like, get through the door with your uh, thing if you have uh, access? Uh, your, the tool? Build a multi-tool. Yes. Yes, you can. In fact, the multi-tool, uh, I have it set to let anybody through. Um, it's really the defense stations that restrict access. Nothing more.
or less. Uh, that's right, I want to put the sign up. Ah. What did I write here? Warning, level two security access required. There we go. All right, level four is good to go. Next up, I want to program this monitor to display this information. That should be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. I should actually change up the way it displays just a bit too. So why don't I think about how I'm gonna work that out and then come back. Thank Let's you, Sorin. <laughs> All right, guys, and here's a rough draft of my force field security status. Obviously, I'm gonna have colors on this thing. I'm gonna have a bunch of other stuff, but this is just getting started. Um, and then every time this thing changes, it'll send a message over to this computer, which is right back here, hiding behind the monitor, which will update the screen. But before I wrap up this episode, Tog wanted me to come visit and uh, get a tour of his house. So you ready for me to come visit over there, Tog? Uh, yep. Yeah. Here I come. Poof. All right. Tog has been hard at work here. He's been uh, building this crazy area, and he's been like, don't come visit until it's done. So... He told me now is probably a good time to come hang out. So what is this, like a biodome type thing? Uh, yeah. This is cool. a, a glass biodome with uh, glass lighting. Uh, so it stays Ooh. nice and bright with no floor lights. I like it. Wrath lighting is the best, by the way. Only with wrath lamps could you light up an area this large. Like, at all. It would be impossible yeah. to light this area with anything but... Uh, this is my, uh, this is my, or the start of my cow farm. I still need to put in a feed station over here to automate that. And, uh, I was working on my computer to kill, uh, full-grown cows, which it drops over in this pit. Oh, I see. It picks up baby cows and then waits for them to grow and then picks them up? Yeah, it will. It will uh, cycle. Um. <laughs> It'll also pick me up. <laughs> yes, apparently you are full grown. Apparently. Well, um. that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. So it will pick up baby cows. Um, it should. Uh, it should pick up less full grown cows once I, you know, start butchering them. Right. Uh, and once I start breeding more cows, it should shove the baby cows closer to the fe or any cows closer to the fence. That's that should cool. work a bit better. I like that. That's a pretty neat system, dude. And Soren is a baby cow, or oh no, he's full grown. <laughs> I'm a cow, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you are. Cool. Dang. What else you got here, Tug? All right, I have a, you know, a golem uh, farm. Unfortunately, nice. they don't do corn yet, hopefully eventually. Yep. Um, I guess this guy is stuck. He uh, tends to, I think Az knows about it, that they get stuck from time to time and yeah, they forget what they're doing. Yeah, tick rate's pretty low on the server right now with as many yeah. people online as we have. Yeah, well, it's Being not... five, <laughs> which is a lot <laughs> for it, as big it's a server as we got going rate, on. It's just that they they forget what they're doing and they like hold an item indefinitely. So you have yeah, to I think that's related to tick rate and... though, because it doesn't seem to happen when the tick rate is, you know, good. Possibly. This is, uh, this is kind of like Grums. You previewed that before, right? This is just turned on its end. Oh, okay. Magma Crucible, Liquid Transposer, Induction Smelter, and Pulverizer. Neat. Yeah, I may rearrange the layout. I kind of just. Uh, while I was low on uh, these dots, I kind of put them all in a circle around here. Cool. I like but it. I, I have more now, so I may make. You know, I like how we changed the layout. color coding on this, so it's blue and orange. That's kind of neat. Right on the contents, uh, so you can tell what direction they're facing a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah. 
That was a good and change. And you removed the neutral pipes. You can't... Um, I think you can solve neutral it, every now and then, but I'm not sure. Not in these cases. I think you are. Um, yeah, like like I had a place where I had engines and and uh, the magma crucible in the same intersection, and that didn't work. So I did to move it. The cool. crucible is buried down at the bottom. Right. And then you have a whole big area downstairs, right, underground, that's doing a lot of, like, the work for you? Yeah. Uh, what I think oh, we should do is wrap up this episode and then come back next episode and visit that area. What do you think? All right. Yep. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and, yeah, I think this is a good wrapping up point for episode 81. Hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. We'll come back next time in 82. We'll visit the rest of Tog's underground area. You can kind of see a little bit of it there through the portal. Um, and then we will uh, work on those monitors, and we'll see what else we can do. I kind of have to figure out still what I'm going to do in level 1 of my house, which will be open access for anyone to enter. Just have to figure out what I'm going to place there. All right, guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 81. Hope you enjoyed it, and take it easy.